Hello YouTube. Um, this is my G36. This is the bolt action version, which you just take that there, pull back, and shoot. Um, there's um the safety, and there's fire. Um, there's wee pictures on it that tells you what they are. Um, in case if you're a spot stick and you can um, read or don't know. Um, this gun comes with a scope mount, a laser, and a tactical torch. But um, I bought this um, in school of my friends for £15. It's actually £30. Oof! Ugh. Jesus. Oh. I've dented my wall by accident there. Um, but anyway, this shoots about 50 meters of a herd. And I have this here um, thing uh, for my shotgun. Just take it off. It's made with hard ABS plastic. Um, it's quite accurate. Just aim there. And I forgot this gun was loaded, so I've dented my wall. And it's quite hard. So, uh, let me just. The place where I dented my wall was. There. I shot it by accident. I didn't know this gun was loaded. Um, the magazine is quite good. You just pull that there, then take the magazine out. And about three or two TVs always fall out. I don't know if all the G36 magazines are like this, but when I bought it, this magazine, I don't know why, when I put a BB in, it's it's on the top of it, so I have to get a pencil or a pen or a pen or jamming rod or whatever, and then push it in. So it's quite annoying, but I don't know if all of them are like that. You just Pull down the spring and then put your BBs in. I think. Um, if I'm wrong, please comment. But my magazine needs to push down the BBs down. And this gun has quite a punch. Um, it's quite comfortable. But this isn't the adjustable stock version, so I'm not sure what what FPS this gun is, but I know it shoots about 50 meters. It's very hard. Wouldn't break. Shake it, there's no noise. It's it's not very heavy, but it's about average. It's very comfortable. So now I'm gonna show a shooting test at my target. I'm going to move up, um, close now to show you how loud this is and I'm going I'm to go about 10 metres away and it's quite loud. Now I'm going to go 10 metres away. I shot there and I was aiming for there. It I don't think this has the new BAX system. I think it's just the ones that once you shoot they go down lower. So I would highly recommend this gun for um it's good for sniping. 
or it's it's all right for a skirmish match if you're against crap BB guns, but if you're against like 400 FPS or 500 FPS AEGs, um, I wouldn't recommend this gun. But overall, I give this a seven out of ten for its rigidness. Um, it's hard. Um, and the sights quite nice. But the cocking handle thing is quite hard to pull back. Just need the muscles to do it. And <laughs> just, do call. just aim. It's quite nice. It's very loud. So, um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.